Now when it comes to earning weapon XP and you ain't already a level 60, it can be a little daunting due to you having to actually use said weapons against enemies relative to your level. For instance, I used a fire staff from a level of probably around a level 46 to 47 all the way up to a level 60 and yet the weapon still isn't maxed out at a level 20. So if you are a player like me and you want to try out many builds, use many different weapons etc etc, the thought of having to level said new weapon up doesn't fill you much confidence. But actually guys, there's a trick to this system which I'll explain today. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this trick only really works once you hit a level 60. If you are looking for weapon XP farms and are yet to hit a level 60, I'd say 100% wait, especially if it's a new weapon that you haven't used yet. If you want to try other weapons because you've already leveled up a said weapon, I'd say wait until you hit a level 60. Because once you do hit a level 60 guys, things do change. Now I don't know if this is something that's intended and meant to be, and I do know that there are certain players out there that are aware of this, but I know many are not. But once you do hit a level 60, enemy level stops come into account when it comes to XP games, like it did prior to you being a level 60. For instance, killing a level 25 enemy once you hit a level 60 will give you more or less the same amount of XP as killing the same enemy type at an enemy level of 60, probably minus a tiny amount. Because of this, like I said, I used a fire staff from around a level 47 all the way up to a level 60, but the weapon itself only reached a level 18 in its mastery. I then used this trick and got my fire staff to a level 20 in about 5 to 10 minutes. What this means is, if you are a level 60, you can level up a weapon in no time at all, farming much, much lower leveled enemies. As you can see me doing this on the screen now. Me running this route, gathering up level 28 enemies and literally just smashing them with one hit and it's given me between 500 and 600 weaponry XP per time and you can do this literally every 60 seconds. And this is just one group of enemies you can kite together within this massive map. And with there being tons of XP farms like this in the game, you can just go back to the easiest ones and level up those weapons in no time at all guys. Because I know a lot of people are thinking you will have to farm higher leveled enemies to level up that weapon quicker, which definitely isn't the case. So on the screen now I'll showcase you a few easy farms where you can gather enemies up and just slaughter them for the XP. So simply follow the route I take, cut the enemies into a spot and then just pummel them, rinse and repeat the process. Obviously the lower the enemy the faster it is, but these farms will be from a lower levels all the way up to your higher levels, from roughly a 20 plus to a 45 plus. All farms should really be easy for you to use if you are a level 60, but if using a brand new weapon isn't as easy as you want it to be, just go to an easier farm. There are many, many out there in the game guys, way more than what I'll showcase today. But yes, I hope this helps you guys out. Like I said, once you hit a level 60, a character level 60, the weapon XP system definitely changes. I mean, there is different amounts still. I mean, a level 60 enemy will still give you more XP than a level 25 enemy, but the difference is definitely not as drastic as what it is before you hit a level 60 character level. So it's not even worth your time struggling against a level 60 enemy when you can just simply go and farm a level 25 enemy, be way more efficient and level up that weapon way, way quicker, especially if you're solo, guys. So I hope this helps you guys out. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. Well, the end isn't here yet. You're still going to watch the farms, but I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.